<laughs> it was nothing. That's odd. <laughs> Definitely not the norm. That's odd. Soaking it twice a day in ox blood. What? I just hear. I have imagined that. Half a sec. Ah! <gasps> oh, there you are. This is Aldale, one of the richest districts of the city, where high society types take strolls in the park or visit the museum with all their leisure time. Every thief in town knows there's plenty of wealth and bubbles to be stolen among the opulence. Only a few know how to get at it. But... We're lucky to have him, with Inspector Drept taking offices so close. Should keep the riffraff at bay. Throng, really? Is he sure it's pagans? Maybe they're just... you know... Shabby. Either way, when's the last time you enjoyed a stroll through the Aldale Public Gardens? Hmm, Lady Cafferty. Well, just the other... Stinking cops. I just... But why? Why? I can't even get into my own shop. Yeah, about that. See, I decided it ain't your shop. It's mine. That. I'll go to the city watch. I have friends in high places. What the bloody... He's in the streets, he is! Help! Anybody! You're oh. kidding with that, right? Of course they died, Amanda, old c The two of them didn't have half a brain between them. Exactly my point, Zachary. Uh, 
mother. Now she had a brain and a plan. Women often do. The whole thing was an idea. No, no, don't eat them. It's poison. Got it. Warden says to In fact, I was sure you were dead or rotting in a cell somewhere. I guess I should have remembered how resourceful you are. Anyway, I suppose the polite thing to do would be to say hello, wouldn't it? Someone's been busy. I'll have to keep th this stuff on ice. It's too risky to move. Move right now. Why? I can't even get into my own shop. Yeah, about that. See, I decided it ain't your shop no more. It's mine. Can't do that. I'll go to the city watch. I have friends in high places. Sure, go tell your friends about how you sold fool's gold. They'll be really extra special interested in that part. Are you sure you want your friends checking on the things you sold them over the years? Well, I, uh, the nerve of your insinuation. Still, I don't see you running out the door to tell the city watch. I could repay you. It would just take me a few days, gather the cash. It's too late for that. Besides, it's more than just the- Guards, oh. over here! Go tell your friends about how you sold me fool's gold. They'll be really extra special interested in that part. <laughs> Are you sure you want your friends checking out the things you sold them over the years? Well, I, uh, the nerve of your insinuation. Still, I don't see you run out the door and tell the city watch. I can repay you. It would just take me a few days to gather the cash. Just 
just so as everyone knows they can't mess with Jimmy the Knife. Well, I'll just go to my shop then and remove those boards myself. Sure, you could try to play it that way. But if I see you doing it, I'm gonna have to kill you. Kill you? You're the one who deserves to die! That almost sounded like a threat, Fogarty, you worm. Don't make me make an example out of you. Now scram. I hate the sight of you. Dead? How did this happen? Guards! Over here! Enough treesies, not woodsy, not woodsy at all. This place hath nothing of value for thee to steal. I'm more interested in those papers of yours. If they can tell me anything about a, a crone that talks to statues. Thou hast seen the hag? Not just seen. She tried to kill me. But I hear you've been trailing her for years. Yea, I hath followed her trail, but it hath not been clear. I hath even doubted anon that her crimes were more than my own imaginings. Thou hast seen her as well. Twas in my boyhood, in the orphanage known as the Shalebridge Cradle, that I spied her. I didst play at a game with mine friend, and I was hidden, and my friend sought me. Then a hag, a bent in evil apparition, came from the darkness, near enough to touch, and my friend did scream. But I was a child, and and afraid, and then, it was over. The orphanage grew a dark and haunted place, and now none dare enter. When came I to my manhood, and was saved by the order of the hammer, I sought the hag again. The hag who wears death about her as a cloak. Some who meet her doth vanish, others perish with bloody work done upon their bodies. There are hints spoken of creatures made of stone, and ever the tale of a hag, a bent old woman, ever old, but grown no older, in a span that hath taken me from boyhood to mine own age. Can you tell me how to find her? She finds her prey now in Aldale, but twas in Shalebridge her murders didst begin. Seekest thou a start upon her trail there? Tis the only place I have there spied her for certain, but I dare never return to that place. That's a good place to start looking. I have no interest in being the latest in her string of murders. Sometimes I can't be free. Goodsy day, friend. I don't want to see it. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. I see you. Go on. What's all this? 
Hold on! I'm almost there! That's it. Not here. Not gonna waste my time. to be an insane asylum, and before that, it was an orphanage. One night a fire started, no one knows how, and after that, they left the place abandoned. If there's a way to cram more misery into one building's history, I can't think of it. I'm here to learn about the old woman who attacked me in the Keeper compound. Drept said he saw the hag here at the orphanage long ago, when his childhood friend was murdered. He's never dared to come back. But I don't think I have much choice. It's a thin lead, but it's all I have left. I've never robbed an orphanage before, and I can't say I'm looking forward to this visit. There's no telling what I'll find inside. I'm used to the dark, but this feels like a house with bad dreams.
That didn't work. Maybe there's a fuse box in the basement. It's burnt out. They must have kept a spare fuse somewhere. She looks familiar. It's that Keeper Translator girl. But that can't be. This portrait must be as old as the building. I can hear you breathing. Nobody here in the cradle does that anymore. How did you get in? My name is Laurel. Something changed when you saw my picture. That's why you can hear me now. I want to leave here, but I can't. The cradle won't let any of us go. Will you help me? They filled up a bottle with my blood. It's down in the storm cellar. It's very dark down there. Please find the bottle and drop it into a drain pipe so it will end up outside. It's important.
This one must be hers. It's still warm. Great. That's the cage where they used to put the new patients until a cell opened up. You should stay out of there, or the cradle might see you and try to keep you here forever. the staff tower. Nobody is allowed. 